We learned in the last in the last video about the marquee selection tool, the rectangular marquee. Sometimes things aren't tidily rectangular, such as this kitten. For rounded edge items that you want to select, we need to move to the lasso tool. So I'm going to use this lasso tool to select just the kitten out of this 1940 Christmas card. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Scroll down. And let's choose the lasso tool and let's begin to outline the kitten. You just drag the lasso tool along the edges of what you're selecting. It takes practice. Remember, Control Z is undo. You just persevere. You don't have to be as accurate as you might think you have to be at first. And if you err on the inside of the border of the of what you're selecting, that makes it easier than if you go on the outside. And remember, this is digital, so you can fix whatever goes wrong. See, I'm going to have to do some fixing here. And here we are, back to the beginning of our selection. And there he is. And you can see it's far from perfect but it's good enough. So I'm going to choose Edit Copy, File New, Edit Paste. And then I'm just going to take away that yellow stuff that's not making it look good. So I'm going to zoom in with the Zoom tool. And I'm going to activate the Eraser tool. The Eraser tool has varying brush sizes. Let's choose a 15. Let's just clear that. Okay. I'm just taking away the yellow edges. Just click with the eraser tool to get rid of what you don't want. You know what, you wouldn't think so, but I know for a fact he's good enough. So now I'm going to come to the Move tool. Pulling the layer palette over just to look at it, I want you to notice that layer one where the kitten is, is transparent. There is a white background, but I'm not going to worry about it. Watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to choose Edit, Select All. And now this kitten is selected. I'm going to come to the Adjustment and change, change him to black and white by dragging the hue and saturation down to zero. And you'll see why in just a minute. I'm also going to change his size to 180 pixels. So there he is, one little kitten. Now I'm going to move him aside, close the Christmas kitten, and open this gentleman here and give him a kitten on his shoulder. I'm going to drag this over, edit, select all, edit, copy, click on Bilton, edit, paste, and here's the kitten. And with the move tool active, I'm going to drag the kitten up to Sergeant Bilton's shoulder instead of the Christmas girl. Let's zoom in and see how it looks. There. It's an old photo, so it's a little grainy. But you see the idea. That's fun, isn't it? So that was the lasso tool. I'll show you how to use the polygonal lasso in just a moment. So let's just quickly look at the polygonal lasso, which is a great deal easier if you have the right image. So we're going to work on selecting this barn, which has nice straight edges. So I'm going to choose the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just going to click at one straight, one end of a straight edge, and then just click at the next end of the straight edge. And click, 
and I'm going to come in and click here and down and click I'm going to follow the shadow around and click and across and click down the diagonal I'm going to kind of catch this loop by clicking a couple of times on it go straight across here and up click click and finished and there it is so let's copy that move it to a new image so we can see it and paste and there it is how fast is that it's much much faster if you have the right shaped object to work with